Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to use alerts in the system to improve your workflow management. Bad workflow management leads to stress, hassle, and lost revenue. If you set up alerts in the system, it will help everyone in the office remember important scheduling concerns. I'll show you a good example of that right now. Let's say we have a patient named Kelly Brown with a unique concern. Ms. Brown needs to sign a form from her insurance company on her fifth visit from the initial start date. So we can create a patient-specific alert in the system to remind staff what to do. You can go under Patient, and then Schedule, and then Alerts in order to do that. You can click on the question mark here to find out how to configure a patient alert. Here's one that I created for Kelly Brown. You can set up the system to have alerts pop up when a patient checks in like I have. As you can see, because I have my alerts set up and my pop-ups turned on, I see the pop-up window. Now you can turn them off, however, which I'll show you in a little bit. If you have alerts turned on but don't want the pop-ups to come up, they will still appear in the white left-hand column. You can turn the alerts on and off by coming over here to this button. Clicking on it when it says pop-up message is on will turn it off. If you click on it when it says pop-up message is off, it will turn it back on. Office policy should be to leave an alert up until the task in question has been completed. After the task that the alert is about has been finished, then it should be deleted. The person who completed the task that the alert is about is the one who should delete it. If you have alerts that were not deleted from a patient's previous visit, the alert patient has existing alerts will appear. There are three ways to delete an alert. You can select the alert like this, and a window will pop up in which you can delete it. Now you can also select the alert, like I just did, and click on the red X. That would delete it too. The last way is to click on this arrow, select the alert, and then click on Delete Selected. Well, that's all there is to this video. We hope you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.